Guam Barbecue St. Louis Ribs. A printable recipe is linked in the description. Grab your half rack and start by cutting the thick end of the rack. I get my ribs from Reverend's Farm in Graham, North Carolina because their pork is superb. I'm cutting halfway down. On the thick ends, I cut the cartilage or around the cartilage so the ends cook well and they cook fast. These aren't as thick as the ribs from your typical grocery store, but there's a few ends here that I need to cut. This is the half of the rack with lots of meat and cartilage and a few short bones. I cut the meaty part in strips along with whatever cartilage happens to be in there. I love cartilage, don't you? Mm. Mm. And then I hunt for the bones and cut between them. I keep the half racks intact until they are partway done on the grill so they're easier to manage. This is 3 quarter cups or 150 grams light brown sugar, 2 teaspoons or 6.5 grams garlic powder, a half teaspoon or 1.2 grams black pepper, and a handful of sliced yellow onions. If you've been to Tremor Barbecue, you know. I use the same marinade for chicken and steak as well. Steak I only do for 8 hours. This Guam Barbecue marinade recipe is linked in the description. Add your ribs to the bag before adding the soy sauce and vinegar. Mix two cups or 473 milliliters of soy sauce and two cups or 473 mils of vinegar for two batches of the marinade. Stir. I'm using one cup or 237 mils of soy sauce and an equal amount of vinegar per bag. Squeeze the air and seal. I save previously used bags so I can triple bag my marinade. It's a lot, but I don't want to mess in my fridge. Shake the bag to thoroughly mix and dissolve. Marinate this Chamorro barbecue ribs for 24 hours in the fridge, turning the bag a few times. Thought that thong and thong in Guinea North Carolina, but we have charcoal. Fill the chimney or barbecue pit with charcoal. Using this chimney quickly heats the briquettes. Put paper on the bottom. Light the paper. Heat about 25 minutes to where most of the briquettes are ashy and red. Let the white smoke burn off. It's ready when you can see red burning through the coals near the top and much of the white or gray smoke has burned off. Empty the charcoal into the pit and put the grill back on. Clean the grill if you have not already done so by scraping with a grill brush. Flip and clean as needed. Adjust the airflow at the bottom. Yeah, baby. I know you can smell this in your heart, in your memories of barbecues and fiestas gone by. If you sell barbecue plates at a market or in a food truck, I guarantee you'll attract a bunch of customers with these Tremoral ribs on the grill. Mmm, that smoke in my face. I love it. I love Reverend's Farm ribs. They are tasty and lean. I don't feel like I'm biting into gigantic pieces of fat and the fat that is there tastes so pure and clean. We gotta move all of this around. We got one more slab. Cover and adjust the airflow on top. After five minutes, check the ribs because the fat dripping into the coals could generate flames. Flip the racks. These are lean ribs and they'll cook quickly. We'll have to reduce the airflow at the top of the dome next time. Cover again and adjust the air on top. Cook for five minutes. 
Move racks around to put the thicker cuts where it's hotter on the grill. Cover and cook another five minutes. Flip racks again. Now cut the ribs to separate them and place back on the grill. Arrange to cook on the sides. This is the stuff that food dreams are made of. These Guam barbecue ribs, look at that. Just wait till we char the sides. With some fat dripping, flames are sure to start. Just move the ribs around. Use the fire to char and make some ribs doknus. Mm -mm. Man, with some red rice, potato salad, kelleguin, tatiza, slumpia, gola up and aga, pancit, crab and coconut milk, tamales, gisu. Mm, don't hold me back. I really hope I've satisfied your Guam recipe cravings for tomorrow barbecue ribs. I love making these Guam food videos. It makes me happy to no end that I've been sharing and preserving the Chamorro culture with you through all my Guam food endeavors. Now you can make Guam food on your own. Be sure to watch my other Guam food videos. Si Zana Jos.